Hey guys, welcome to another video on this channel. Alex Mobs just released a new update called the Very Scary Update for Forge Minecraft version 1.19. This update adds 4 new great and spooky mobs. So let's get started. First, there's the Farseer. This creature can only be encountered at the very edge of the world. You can get to the edge of the world by using a Shattered Dimensional Carver. First you need to craft a normal dimensional cover, which you can craft using netherite ingots, voidworm mandible and a voidworm eye. Then place the dimensional cover into capsid. Simply hold down the right mouse button while keeping the dimensional cover in your hand to activate it. It will open up a portal a million blocks away in any cardinal direction. Use this tool multiple times in the same direction so you are within the range of the Farseer. When you did that and are near the world border, the Farseer has a chance to tear open a portal and appear right alongside you. The Farseer is hostile to players and will fire a static beam at them, which ignores enchantments and armor. You need to dodge or outflank these attacks to survive. It will also attempt to attack you up close with its claws. If slain, the Farseer can drop one of its many arms, which can be used to create a transmutation table. This table allows you to transmute entire stacks of items into different items. Simply fill the slot at the bottom with any stackable item. Then three possibilities will appear which can be selected to transmute the entire stack of items into the selected item for a cost of experience. First, most of the items will be simple and natural, but it can quickly be filled with other kinds of resources. Also, when one item is transmuted into another, there's a chance that future transmutation possibilities will be the former item. If you destroy the table, it will explode and only a nether star will remain. Next, there is this creature. This mob can be found in a deep dark biome, clinging to the ceiling. The mob is hostile but can't fight you. When it sees you, it will begin to create a loud sound by howling and clapping together its feet. This will awaken the warden. This creature only has low health and any projectile can disable it from calling for a warden along with sending it plummeting towards the ground. This creature can drop its soul upon dying. The soul can be used to craft a skulk boomer. When activated nearby a skulk sensor, this block will emit a loud boom that damages mobs nearby. It can be disabled with redstone and it has a slight cooldown. Underminers are inhabitants of abandoned mineshafts. They can walk through walls and only be damaged with magic, like splash potions. They will mostly only appear if plenty of time is spent in a mineshaft. However, they won't attack you unless you attack them. Still, they will disappear temporarily if you approach them. You can occasionally see them mining blocks with their pickaxes. They can't break these blocks, but their actions can reveal hidden ores in the walls surrounding the mineshaft. If you drop a specific ore block near an underminer, it will cease being invisible and seek out and mine blocks obscuring that specific ore block hidden in the surrounding area. If slain using magic, the underminer may drop its ghostly pickaxe. This pickaxe can store up to 9 stacks of mined block drops within itself, if the user has a full inventory. Once there's space in the inventory, the items will be returned from the pickaxe. You can repair the pickaxe using phantom membranes. The last mob added is the Murmur. This mob can be found deep down in the overworld below Y level minus 30. The mob can extend its neck further than 50 blocks. If a Murmur spots you, it will extend its neck upwards to get a good look and then sweep forwards quickly to attack you and retreat again. If you hit the Murmur's head rather than its body, it will only receive half of the damage. Upon dying, this mob can drop red wool, an elastic tendon, or rarely an unsettling kimono. The elastic tendon can be combined with drop your claws to create a tendon whip. This weapon can be swung like a sword and will deal damage to up to 3 nearby mobs. It can be used from over 8 blocks away and automatically find a target. The whip can be repaired with elastic tendons. The unsettling kimono can be used as a chest plate. Although it has low armor and durability, it increases the wearer's placement distance by 2 blocks and makes most undead hostile mobs neutral to the player's presence, except for Murmurs and the Wither. It can be repaired with wool. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss any further updates of Alex Mobs, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.